So in one of my previous video, I was discussing about joints in Splunk and in this video we are going to discuss about joints again but in more detail so uh, in previous video i have just shown you how we can combine result of main search with sub search and i didn't really uh, go into more details about joints but in this video i'm going to do that so if you just go to splunk documentation and you read about joints what it tells is that join is going to uh, combine the result of sub searches with the result of main searches okay so uh, there are two types of searches which you perform you can perform so whatever you are uh, you are writing here is actually called a main search and any search which you write under these square brackets is called sub search okay so for example let's say if i uh, run something like this then it is going to be called a sub search okay so uh, by default sub search is going to have more priority so what happens is when you run a main search and a sub search and you join them then sub search is going to run first and then uh, its result is going to get combined with the main search so that is how join works now uh, when you run join there are uh, two types of options which are available which is called left join or inner join so by default when you do not spe uh, specify anything in join command then inner join runs okay or inner join actually gets uh, takes place or if you specify left join or outer join in that case uh, this is the scenario or this is the thing which is going to happen so uh, by this picture uh, what it means is then when you perform a left join in that case all the data between uh, all the data from main table is going to get returned and only the matching data from uh, the sub search is going to get returned or get, going to be displayed or basically going to be uh, shown you as a result okay now here in the inner join what happens is that only the data which matches in main search and also in sub search is going to be shown so any data which doesn't uh, match in main search or sub search is not going to be shown okay so now let's try to understand this with an example so for example uh, let me just get rid of this so right now the data which i have is a transactional data about a website uh, which also returns response code of a uh, website or transactions basically so in this case let's say I'm gonna say top status and it is going to give me count of all the status which has all the transactional status and going to show them by count and percentage okay so here we can see we have HTTP response code or HTTP status code of, of 200 and th these many transaction which has you know resulted in HTTP uh, status code of 200 and this is a percentage of them and in one of my previous video I have also shown you that you know this is very difficult to understand status so we have linked it or we have joined this data with a lookup table okay so this is the lookup table which we used uh, which is called HTTP response code dot CSV so I'm going to use the same query again and for that what we need to do is uh, we need to write a sub search okay so for uh, to write a sub search it is very simple all you have to do is use square brackets and inside this you can write uh, input input lookup okay in in this case i'm using lookup uh, that's why i'm writing input lookup but you can uh, pretty much write any search query or any query or all the commands which are available in the main query is also available in the uh, sub search as well so you can write any query which you want now here I'm just gonna uh, write only this much okay this looks okay and now we need to run uh, we need to type join as well to join the commands or to join basically the result of sub search with the main search so uh, join is also a command so it means you also have to use pipe okay now let's run it and see what happens okay so now you can see what has happened is uh, this lookup file it has returned description and name against each of the status code so status code of 200 means everything was okay transaction was okay and status code of 503 means service was unavailable and so on okay now uh, one thing if you notice here uh, I'm probably gonna create a new search and then let's run this again and so I can show you the difference between uh, the previous search when we didn't do any join and uh, this search when we did the join okay so let it load okay i'm just going to run this query again okay no i'm not going to join anything i'm just going to run this 
and let me also use all time and one thing which i want you to notice is that you can see that in status or basically overall we have nine results and here if you see we have only eight results so what has happened is we if you see here in the status code one of the results are missing so the missing result is 404 okay so here you can see we have uh, 404 and here we do not have 404 okay now the reason for that is because our lookup table doesn't contain uh, any data related 404 definition okay so what it means is uh, right now inner join uh, is taking uh, effect and since a and b you know a actually contains a which is our main query it contains a status code of 404 However, our inner query, which is sub search, uh, doesn't contain definition or data regarding 404. That's the reason the final result, which you see here, doesn't contain 404. Okay, now let's say uh, in some cases you do want to show all the you know, results from your main search, regardless of whether the data or the corresponding data is available in the sub search or not. Okay, so in that case, you have to uh, use left join okay so the syntax is very simple after join you need to specify type equal to left and then you can run it again and now we should be able to see total of nine results and we are also going to see data for 404 okay so now you can see we have data for 404 however there is no description or name is available for 404 status code the reason being is that uh, this input lookup doesn't contain any data of 404 status code so i'm just going to run this input you know, input lookup code separately so i can show you that this doesn't contain data about 404 status code okay as you can see i'm running it here and now you can see here it has data until 403 if we go on next page also you can see we do not have data for 404 okay it starts from 405 uh, so that is how you know join works you have uh, two types of option either you can use inner join or left join and actually there is outer join as well but it is having same effect as left join so for example if i change it to outer it is going to give you the same output okay so i hope i clarified uh, what are the different types of joins which is available in splunk and in which scenario you want to use them and which scenario you do not want to use them okay so thank you so much for watching if you have any query feel free to write in the comment box see you again in the next video